All right, this video is for all of you guys doing the military uh, restorations. I'm doing a M37, and um, my wiring harness has the Douglas connectors on it. This is the old school kind. It's got, you know, this this type. Okay, but the newer stuff has the Packard connectors on it, which is these rubber boot, and. Uh, I want them to match, you know, I come this far, so what the hell. So when you, it's actually not as hard as you think. Uh, I thought I was going to have to splice it and all this, but it, it really doesn't come to that. So what you need is, um, you need just a regular uh, Packard connectors, new, or if you get them used, that's fine too. Um, you know, you can get them vintage power wagon, there's other places that have them. And uh, so there's three parts, you got the uh, this part. You've got this little ring, and then you got this rubber connector, and then there's also this uh, sort of two-way insulator. That's what the uh, pins connect together on. So when you have your new fixture, like I have this uh, tail lamp here, it has the, the Packard connectors on it. So to get them off, you just kind of push the boot down a little bit, and there's like this little... Uh, pin in here or it's like a c-clip and it just pop right out so there it is okay let's put that aside the boot slides off all right then I thought you were gonna have to you know cut these and crimp on a new one but you actually don't have to do that so you just take your piece everything kind of just slides over so you take your excuse me actually you take this thing first the uh the connectors slide that down and then you slide down your uh, retainer here and then you slide over your metal I'm mean, assuming your rubber boot and it just kind of goes right over what you got you got to work it a little bit I'm going to use a pair of pliers to hold on to the uh, wire here. See, I got it started over it. I just kind of slide it down till the pin is exposed. It'll go. It's a little tough, but it'll go. Now I'm going to use the pliers to pull on the pin now. Don't squeeze too hard. You don't want to bend it. And you can kind of turn the rubber to twist it. Okay. And see, this is, it's a little too far now, so I'm going to just push it back over. You'll, you'll see, it'll be obvious. Okay, so now that's over the pin, and that's pretty much it. Then this whole thing would slide back up like this, and you're good to go. The last thing you would do, I, I don't know if this is the way to do it, but this is what I've been doing, is before I, like these, this is supposed to be a quick connect, quick connect. But it seems like once it's on there, it'll come off, but it's a real pain in the you-know-what. So actually what I've just been doing is getting this thing on there first. So I just kind of gently hold that with this, and I take this connector and just kind of twist it on until it seats against the rubber boot. Drop it on the ground. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay, you can see it's kind of seated nice against the boot, and this whole thing comes up, and then you grab your, your wiring harness, and then the first thing you would do is connect the pins, I don't want to do it right now, but you would push that in there, same thing, kind of twist it in, make sure it's seated, and this slides up over it, and they twist together, and you're done. So, not that hard. I thought it was going to be a real pain, but it's not. Uh, just time-consuming. Good luck.